Oh, there we go. Okay, this is my first IG live, um, and I'm kind of just walking around my yard. But I've had um, thoughts, and I was talking to, or well, actually listening to some um, other YouTubers and stuff like that. Hello. <laughs> I don't know if this will translate directly onto Facebook because I'm trying to make it be a bit more um, economical with my time and space and the way I'm doing things and all that. <clears throat> so I thought I'd, you know, try this for a change and see how it goes. Now, I am curious because there's a lot of people when they say, you know, they have conversations and all that sort of stuff and I'm listening to a guy and he says, like, you know, we're not having a conversation you're coming at me with talking points. So that got me thinking, um, <clears throat> basically, what, excuse, I'm still a bit sick. <laughs> um, what is the difference between having a conversation and having you know, someone coming at you with just talking points? And I had a thought about this. I haven't done any research on it, but just random thoughts that come into mind is basically conversations are, like, you know, really good conversations are uncomfortable um, they you know require you to talk with people that probably disagree with you and consider their point of view when you come at people with talking points you're basically like a politician I guess and you're just lecturing and going on about this and that and that and it's always the same shit if you know just different day excuse the language um, but you, you, you find that you're, you're talking about the same things over and over again without any um, cause of consideration for somebody else's point of view and you just keep hammering it at them and you're going well I you, you can tell that there's no real actual thought going into what they're actually saying it's just like you know it, it, and I find that when I, the more I listen to some people on YouTube the more they keep reeling out the same things and you know stats and set, facts and all sorts of other stuff and go okay that's that's nice, that's fine, facts, yes, I know, but then you get up and you look around you and say, you know, does that mesh with what I'm seeing, like, in the real world, not on social media, but in the world that not only me, but other people kind of, you know, live and work in and um, move around in and socialise, I mean, I've promoted to some people or talk to people, you know, by all means, listening to Manosphere stuff. But keep in mind, some of that stuff is geared towards a specific audience. Now, when you're coming at somebody with talking points, you generally tailor your talking points to a specific audience. When you're actually having a conversation, you're having a conversation one-on-one -on -one with a person. So you really want to find out where each other where each other's thoughts lie, how they came to be, what their experience is, if they're actually telling you what their experience versus what's an actual um, conversation piece. So a lot of people like to bring in exceptions, like, you know, in my experience and blah, 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 I go, well, that's, that's fine, but are you the normal, typical person or are you in a particular, you know, um, section or subsection of the community um, or life or class or whatever and a lot of people you know wonder about class I mean you know here in Australia there's no like real royalty as it <laughs> as it is I mean, we we are still ruled by the Queen and the Governor General and all that sort of stuff but there is class classes and they're not uh, monarchical or uh, based on the monarchy nowadays they're based on such like you know you get the blue collar class you got the white collar class you've got your tradies you've got your um, um, you know your, your your educated your educated uneducated people like people have university degrees and people who don't have university degrees um, you know there, there's a whole class system that's going on there and um, I've talk to a lot of people um, 
and I find it really interesting that it, it, to, to talk with them because there's quite a few people I know who have university degrees but they live on a farm. I know quite a few people who don't have university degrees and they live in a, in a mansion. I've known people who, um, you know, have PhDs who work at Mackets. <laughs> I've known people and come across people who've had the highest, you know, two or three PhDs and yet they are still unemployed. Um, and they're very bitter. And I've known people that have not even finished university, not even finished high school, and yet they're quite happy and they're what a lot of people would class as rich. So I, I wonder a lot about um, do you actually have conversations or, or do you just have a session of talking points? Um, and that would be interesting because I think maybe in, in this day and age, particularly in the last like you know couple of years, with you know people um, losing their jobs, being on social media more, being isolated, a lot of people have reached out to various different subsets and groups, and and some people have found their tribe, which is cool. Some people have just found a place where they, um, I guess, they get acknowledged. They don't feel like they've been lost in the crowd. And so what I'd like to ask is, is, do you actually have for real conversations with these guys? Or is it just a place where people go to have talking points where they can all agree with each other or they all think that, you know, perhaps they all agree so I feel important, so I belong? Um, yeah, that would be an interesting thing. So what, what would be the difference for you between a talking point or someone coming at you with talking points, thinking that's a conversation, actually having a real conversation. Um, for me, like I said, converse, real conversations can be difficult, they can be challenging, um, they involve a lot of questions, a lot of suppositions, a lot of consideration um, for more than, you know, for understanding, like conversations to me, um, the aim of conversation is to not only just relay information but to form an understanding with someone whether you agree with them or not. Um, someone coming at you with talking points, all they want to do is lecture you, tell you that you're wrong, bring you over to bring you over to their side and if not you're you know they will um, you know use a lot of like guilt, shame, manipulation, uh, like negative manipulation and, and all sorts of tactics to try and get you to feel uncomfortable so that you come around to their point of view. Conversations can be uncomfortable, but you address the issue in the conversation, you don't say, oh, well, you're just a whatever. Like I saw that um, clip about that teacher who said, like, you know, this, this flag is designed to make these particular people uncomfortable, so maybe you should not be those kind of people. And I'm like, I could say that about anything. I could say, look, he's he's a um, a, a flag of blah blah blah, and he goes, oh well, I don't I don't like that uncomfortable. It's a hate blah blah blah. So well, obviously it's making you uncomfortable. So obviously you are against these particular ideals. That's that's kind of you know <laughs> you can, but to to do that to a student um, to sh try and shame them is um, is not good to my my point of view anyway. It's not a conversation. That's that's um, a lecturing kind of a thing, that's uh, talking points, that's not actual, like, real thought. These days I think it's probably a lot more difficult for people to have actual um, individual thoughts and talking points, but, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, this live, I'm going to test it out and see how it goes onto, um, like, Facebook and all that. Um, it's just a test, I'm just testing a few things out. So my other ones I'll probably do um, back on Facebook and do my usual stuff. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. Uh, just got to figure out how to turn this off. That's not it. Okay. Yep. Okay, got it. See you guys.